Let's write for loops and while loops in solidity. And then I'll explain why you should keep the number of iterations in your loop small. So to write a for loop, you type for. We'll run this for loop from i equals zero and run it 10 times. So we'll type uint i equals zero, semicolon, while i is less than 10, semicolon, i plus plus. i plus plus means that i will be incremented after the for loop runs. And inside the curly braces, you'll write your code inside here. Now, if you want to skip one iteration of a loop, then you use the keyword continue. Let me give you an example. So we'll skip the loop if the index i is equal to 3. And we do that by saying if i is equal to 3, then continue. So what would this actually do? We start the for loop from i equals 0. So the code will run. Since i is not equal to 0, more code will be executed. The same goes for i equals 1 and i equals 2. When i is equal to 3, some of the code will be executed here. And when the code reaches over here, since i is equal to 3, we continue. We continue on to the next loop. So for when i is equal to 3, this part of the code will not be executed we skip on to the next loop. On the next loop, i is equal to 4. Code will be executed. This part will be false. And we continue on to more code. And this continues until i is equal to 9. So that's continue. It skips the current iteration. Now, if you wanted to exit out of the loop, then you will use the keyword break. For this example, we'll break meaning that we'll exit out of this loop when i is equal to 5. So we'll type if i is equal to 5, then break. So now this loop will run from i equals 0 to i equals 4. When i is equal to 5, this part of the code will be true, and it will break out of the loop, meaning that we finish the loop at i is equal to 5. The loop will not run for i equals 6, 7, 8, and 9 it exits the loop when i is equal to 5. So that is break. Now let me show you an example of a while loop. The syntax is while some kind of condition, curly braces, and you will write your code inside here. If we say that the condition is true, then this means that this while loop will run forever. Obviously, we don't want to do that, so we'll create a condition. We'll start with an index u into j, equals 0, and then say while j is less than 10, execute some code, and at the end of the code, increment the index j by typing j++, semicolon. That's the syntax for writing a while loop in Solidity. Let me give you a more practical example. We'll write a function that given an input n, it will sum all of the numbers from 1 to n. So I'll type function, I'll name this function sum. It's going to take in a single input, u int n, which is the number that we're going to be summing from 1 to n. It's going to be external, peer, and, and it's going to return the sum from 1 all the way up to n. So the type that we're going to be returning is u int. We'll initialize a u int that's going to be keeping track of the running sum. And at the end of the function, we will return the sum. Now using a for loop, let's now add all of the numbers from 1 all the way up to n. So we'll say for u int i starting at 1, while i is less than or equal to n, i plus plus, and inside the curly braces, so inside the for loop, we'll say s, add to the current sum, i. And this loop will add all of the numbers from i equals 1 all the way up to i equals n. So this is an example of how to use a for loop to write a function that sums all the numbers from 1 to n. Now, if you wrote this code in other programming languages like JavaScript or Python, then you would have absolutely no problem running this code, whether you loop it 100 times, 1000 times, a million times. However, in Solidity, the number of loops that your function might run is something that you need to consider when you're writing a loop. The bigger the number of loops, the more gas it will use. 
Keep the number of loops small and your gas cost low.